Hey everybody, it's time for another breaker video. This one is all about the one, the only, the medium tank. The medium tank is probably the most produced GDI unit in the entire game, becoming available at build level 7 and having a cost of 800 credits, which makes it one of the more expensive units in the game too. This small monetary sacrifice is definitely worth it though, since the medium tank is a very capable unit. The medium tank has a sight of 3, which isn't very good, quite mediocre actually. In this demonstration, we have the medium tank with a sight of 3, a minigunner with a sight of 1, and a commando with a huge sight of 5. The speed of the medium tank is also not very good. With a speed of 18, it is outrun by most other vehicles. It is considerably faster than infantry though, although in the actual game, this doesn't seem to work quite right, since a flamethrower with a speed of 10 is faster than a medium tank. There might be a value I'm overlooking for vehicles though, so feel free to let me know in the comments if you know why this is. I think it has something to do with the speed modifiers for different types of terrain, but I can't find the right values anywhere. I will do some more research though, and once I figure it out, there will definitely be a video about that too, so don't forget to subscribe, because otherwise you might just miss it. Now let's talk about the only stat that is exclusive to vehicles, the turn speed. Luckily there can be no dispute about these values. The medium tank has a turn speed of 5, which is very mediocre. The artillery with a turn speed of 2 is the slowest, and the Humvee with a turn speed of 10 is the fastest. Until now, the medium tank has really lived up to its name, being pretty much medium in all fields. But that will change now with the range and combat values of the medium tank. The medium tank has a range of 4.75 squares in the layout of every command and conquer map, which is really good considering many units don't even have a range of 4. This value is easily demonstrated with sandbags, since they cover exactly one square on the, in the map. On the right we have 5 sandbags, so when the medium tank wants to shoot the minigunner, it has to move forward. And on the left we have 4 sandbags, which means the medium tank can shoot across to the minigunner without moving. Now the offensive capabilities of the medium tank might be the strongest assets it, it possesses. The cannon of the medium tank does 30 damage every shot, which is really powerful. Once it has shot, it takes 50 time units to reload. The medium tank shells are armor piercing, which means that it only deals 25% of the base damage of 30 to unarmored units, which is only infantry. It deals 75% of damage to wooden armored units, also 75% of damage to lightly armored units, and the full 100% of damage to heavily armored units. This means that the medium tank is pretty much useless against infantry, but very capable in a fight against armored units or buildings. The medium tank itself is heavily armored and has 400 hit points, which means it is very tanky, like it should be. The medium tank is also crude, which means that when it is destroyed, it can spawn infantry and it can run over enemy infantry units as well. Lastly, I just want to give you some advice on using the medium tank in battle. The unit has a lot of health and deals a lot of damage. This means that you can easily use the medium tank as your main offensive force. A group of them will easily destroy most enemy bases, and they can take on almost any attack force except the infantry. You do need to be careful around not buggies, since they will do a lot of damage to the medium tanks, while the tanks will only do 75% of damage, since the buggies are only lightly armored. And that's gonna be it for today's breakdown video. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed and learned something. Feel free to let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe since more breakdown videos are on their way. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!